Good morning besties. It is pretty late into the morning. I slept in quite a bit because it's my day off uni today and I just wanted to like relax and chill for like a little bit before I do wake. But I made myself a cup of tea. I hope you're staying well and hydrated. And yeah, this morning's getting off to a good start. So I think today I want to really freshen up and like get dressed and into some proper like uni work clothes because I want to do some uni work today as the formative assignment for one of my modules is due on Friday and that's basically where I get to submit a thousand word draft or plan of the essay that I'm planning on writing and so I really want to get that done and dusted today. I also want to update my Notion page for university so that it reflects me doing my formative and just getting some extra notes done there and I'm going to take you on a tour of that. I also need to look into a new office chair because as you saw in my previous video it's broken and so I need to get a new one and it's needed to be replaced for quite some time so I'm gonna try and look online for a new office chair. I definitely want to go to the library at some point today so I'm gonna be taking a train to Cardiff in order to do that and then I think whilst in Cardiff as well I might do a little bit of shopping because I have some things that I need to get but yeah overall it should be a pretty calm day today. I think I'm gonna like freshen up in a little bit once I've drank my tea. I've just been like scrolling through socials but yeah yeah, it's been it's been a fairly calm day so far. I did have a book delivery this morning though and I got it from bookshop.org which helps support independent bookshops. So I got Memorial by Brian Washington. I saw Carly talk about this in her video. I think it was like her favorite books of 2021 so far. And Memorial ranked at number one and I love this cover. I think it's just the minimalism of it and it, design and illustration was done by Carmen R. Billet. And I'm really excited to read this because obviously it's one of Carly's favorite books. I'll link Carly's video down below if you want to go see more about what this book is about because I don't think I can explain it as well as she did. All I need to do now is finish my tea and then I'm gonna go freshen up. I'll probably have a shower and then yeah I will be ready to go do some work for the day and show you a day in the life of a master's student which is haha <laughs> gonna be fun. I'll see you in a bit. So, 
As I've been enjoying my soup and my lunch and just getting my stuff sorted for the week, I quickly wanted to take you through my updated Dark Academia Notion page. And I really want to thank Notion for sponsoring today's video in order for me to be able to show you this amazing setup. A bunch of you already know how much I'm obsessed with Notion. I mean, I have a Notion tour already on my channel, which I'll link in the description down below for you so you can see kind of what my Notion pages used to look like. Some of them are going through a bit of a reconstruction at this moment in time because with Notion, it's such like a sandbox software, so you can really make the pages as you see fit. And they're really versatile and there's just a vast amount of options for you to use. After finishing my undergraduate and coming into my postgraduate, I decided that my Notion page didn't really suit my needs anymore because I still had my dissertation page on there. I still had like degree calculators on there and just links to my old university, which I didn't need anymore. And so I needed to revamp and revitalize the page for my masters. And so we have this brand new Dark Academia page, which I'll now take you through. And so as you can see on my Notion page, I basically have this quote at the top by Virgil, which was on my old Notion page. And the top is basically the same, an overview of my academic career, including important information, study notes, and study sessions. However, now we get on to the new layout as I wanted the links across the top as opposed to just down the side because I just found it would be really easy for me to come on this page and just quickly grab one of the links that I need. And then as we come down, we have my classes on the right side as they were last time, but now I've added this cool like academic photo on there and then the Poppy Wall quote from RF Kuang. And then as we come down, we can see my assignments, which I haven't started three of my assignments yet. My critical essay, my Arthurian essay, my narrative and nation essay, which are basically due in January. But again, I wanted to do my formative for the narrative and nation today. I'm currently drafting my annotated bibliography as it's due next week. So I need to be doing that. But going into one of the pages, I'm going to choose the myth of King Arthur. As we open this page, we can see that the myth of King Arthur is right there. My professor and location would go there. However, I've hidden it because uh, you don't need to see that. And then as we go through, we have the description of the course and seeing what the course is about. And then we have my module handbook, which basically details everything inside the course, assignments, readings, any key information that I need to know. And then we have my assignment, which is a 4,000 word essay. Not massively happy about that, but it's due in 20 2022 and then we have we have the day of the seminar what the seminar is about and like the status of it so if my notes are complete and I'm happy with them then it, they're complete otherwise more research is needed or I need to refine the notes further or I'll be currently researching for the seminar so that I know that I have read the book and so I just find Notion to be completely awesome and a versatile tool for you to use I just find Notion to be quite a versatile tool and it's just amazing to use and I find that I have so much fun with it and it's just amazing to be able to create pages like I'm currently creating a page with one of my friends because we're planning on moving out together next year. And so we're starting to create one of those moving out pages where we're looking at things we need to move out, the furniture, some small furnishings, and it's gonna be really easy to keep ourselves organized. I even have a savings plan in Notion as well to make sure that I'm saving enough money to move out. And so yeah, if you wanna check out Notion for yourself, I'll have a link in the description down below to two things. One, my Notion tool, where I give a lot more information about kind of what Notion is and how I use it, but also my link in the description so that you can go download Notion for yourself and check it out. And again, a massive thank you to Notion for sponsoring today's video. And now I'm gonna continue getting work done because uh, I'm having a productive day.
Hello besties, I forgot to wrap up this vlog, oops, <laughs> I basically fell asleep after watching Hawkeye, like the new episode was amazing and I didn't feel like I could love this show purely because of Hawkeye as a character, but I'm kind of enjoying it, I'm kind of enjoying it, so we'll see what happens with that show, although WandaVision will still remain unborn in my heart. But going back to the study stuff, I did a lot that day. I didn't find a new office chair. I did find one office chair that I liked from Argos, however if I wanted it I'd have to go to the top of Scotland in order to collect it, and I just don't think that road trip is worth it. But I'm sure I'll find the perfect office chair at some point soon, fingers crossed. But yeah, I'm just very happy about all the work that I did yesterday. My assignments are coming on wonderfully. I've just had such a fun time during my master's so far, like meeting new people. I just find it really exciting that I'm able to expand my mindset with these new topics with narrative and nation and also the myth of King Arthur in the 19th and 20th centuries. It's just amazing to see kind of the ways that master studies are just a progression on from undergraduate. Like it really feels like I'm in a fourth year of my undergrad, but there's that kind of higher standard in a way where I have to like improve my work and just become more refined as a critic and being able to make key succinct points. And I just think I've evolved a lot as a student from my very first year of university and just seeing kind of the work that I do now. It's exciting and I'm really excited to continue on with this journey and like continue with learning and evolving and growing as an English literature academic. I kind of have been having this discussion over the past couple of days about whether I'll do my PhD or not. At the end of the day I would really love to do a PhD at some point but even if I do do my PhD I'll probably be part-time because I really want to focus on my writing career because I've wanted to be a writer way before I wanted to be a booktuber and I definitely want to start making strides towards getting published. If I do get a book deal, maybe I can do PhD alongside the book deal. I know RF Kuang does writing alongside her PhD, so I think I could do that as well. But yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching this university vlog today, besties. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you liked it, I'm sure I can do many more in the future. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified whenever I upload next. And again, a massive thank you to Notion for sponsoring today's video. You can check out the link in the description so that you can try out Notion for yourself. It's just an amazing versatile tool, and it's based basically like the app that I recommend to every single person when they're wanting to be organized. And if you want to check out all my other social medias, I'll have them linked in the description down below if you used to go and check me out on every single other platform. Maybe I should also go to TikTok soon, but yeah, I guess until the next time. Bye besties.